What's going on guys, Asian guy here bringing you some massive news to the Japan server of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Before we get into it, I would like to apologize about how I look. It's not very professional, but you guys know we're family here. I don't hide anything from you guys, especially on how I look. So this is bed hair. I don't know what happened. I honestly don't know. I look like a freaking turnip, pineapple monster kind of thing. But we have got the Christmas event on One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now first things first, Merry Christmas on this day to you, not today as in on this day, from the 24th midnight to the 25th or Boxing Day midnight, we will be getting a roast turkey which will give you a guaranteed skill up and max level to any unit who is max evolved. So basically, don't give it to someone who is uninvolved unless you just want the skill up for some reason, but this turkey will give you like 5 million EXP or 6 million, or basically enough EXP to max your unit. We're going to be getting a free rare recruit every single day from the 4th to the 7th, but you can only use them on the day that you log in. So basically you have to log in on the 4th to get the first free rare recruit pull. The fifth to get the second one, the sixth for the third one, and then the seventh for the fourth one. You cannot store them up, guys, so please do use them straight away. Now, the biggest news I'm going to skip ahead to is this. We are finally getting two times stamina on raid bosses. We can finally run double stamina raid bosses. This is absolutely massive. It's going to cut the farming. I just look like a freaking chicken right now. But it's going to cut the farming of how much you have to do for all the raids. People were roasting me yesterday saying that, why aren't you farming 60 stamina Bartolomeo? Well, ha! I only have to farm it as half of what you did. So there you go. There you have it. That's exactly why patience pays off. We're going to get Invasion Toshigi. Now, I'm not sure this character is droppable, but she will invade you. She's going to invade you after everything except for raids and Colosseum. So... Raids and Colosseums will have their normal raids or ambushes, invasion raids. Toshiyi Santa costume will come after stuff like Fortnite, Belly Cave, Evolver Islands, I'm guessing. Possibly, voice crack, possibly even like turtle rushes. So we don't know, but I'm going to say the best bet is to double stamina Fortnite to double stamina these drops, which is going to be fantastic because the drops are stuff like guaranteed socket books. She will be available from the 5th to the 25th of December. Remember guys, not after normal raids, not after Colosseums, only after other things on Extra Island. She will also drop Princess Turtles, but you know, Princess Turtles, whatever. We want the guaranteed socket books. We're going to have the Winter or Snow Day Luffy and Zoro Island coming back. This stuff drops cotton candy, but other rubbish just like Belly and normal teenage turtles or adult turtles. Nothing amazing. Snow Day Luffy and Snow Day Zora I don't think is that useful either. However, you are going to want to clear the Chopper Man missions because from the Chopper Man missions, you'll be getting Princess Turtles and three gems. Now, the Chopper Man missions are basically, they last a week from the 5th to the 12th and then from the 12th to the 19th and then the 19th to the end of Christmas, the 25th. We'll be, ab we'll be able to clear, well, if you clear 10, 10 times this mission or this island you'll be able to get the three gems and seven princess turtles so do that every single week 10 clears every week not too difficult two times stamina bellissimo dan commandai that is absolutely beautiful stuff we will also be getting the zero stamina challenge now if you guys don't know what that is we've had this recently you get to challenge all of these raids as many times as you want they'll be on zero stamina but after you clear it they will disappear so basically you can experiment with whatever team you want as many times as you want on clearing these raids. It's very nice for content creators, although myself, I'm very lazy, so I'm just going to clear it the first time around. Get that free copy, and all of these raids will be available from this time period as well. We're going to have Raid Bartolomeo, Raid Boa Hancock, Raid Sabo, Raid Kuzan, or Raid Aokiji, Raid Zephyr, and Raid Virgo. Now, myself personally, I really want Virgo, and the good thing is these are all going to be on two times stamina as well. So that's thank you, Bandai. Merry Christmas indeed. By the way, guys, the two times stamina for raids is permanent. It's a permanent change. It's a long time coming. They've even acknowledged it as a long time coming in their post. We're also going to get from the friend point pools, voice crack here, Evolvers. It's okay, you know, friend point pulls evolvers. I would have preferred rare recruits, but that's getting a little bit too greedy. Maybe next Christmas we're going to be getting the Tenorubito Belly Cavern. Now, some people think that this is going to be useless if you don't have 
much belly is going to be very useful but even for myself i'm probably going to farm this because 20 million belly as you guys can see in the top left i look like an absolute chicken right now 20 million belly is not going to be enough for the event that follows which is going to be the cotton candy island but this cotton candy island is plus three candy per drop now i'm going to go absolutely hard on this event because this event is so much better than normal. It's three times better, literally. Psh, when I have just woken up, I'm not the smartest chicken in the world, guys. So, I'm gonna have to farm the belly cavern because last time on the three year anniversary, I ended up buying belly from the Rayleigh shop because I didn't have enough after this plus three cotton candy event. Having said that, I've just noticed it only lasts a day, which is kind of sad. Sad times. I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Well. Following that, from the 5th of December to the 9th of December, this belly cave, by the way, the belly cave is from the 18th to the 22nd. The 24th, the end of Christmas, Boxing Day, is the Sanji Cotton Candy Island. And then we're also going to have, of course, Princess Turtle Rush. That's what everybody wants. Princess Turtle Rush is still, however, very useful. So we'll have that from the 5th to the 9th as well. That's very nice. 11th to the 15th, we also have the basically very easy elder turtle island three tries a day yeah that's whatever cola cavern from the fourth midnight to the eighth midnight or the end of the eighth so the ninth midnight is yeah whatever one gem a day that's of course 14th event number 14 from the 14th of december to the 17th of december this day is going to be three days we're going to have two times skill up Remember guys, two times skill up has more than three characters or then more than three kanji or more than, no, actually more than three characters. There's only two kanji there. But super success has three. So basically three letters that you can see mean super success. If you see more than that, it's two times skill up. So don't get them mixed up. The 14th to the 17th, Japan time, two times skill up. Then from the 7th to the 10th is super success. So don't confuse that. 21st to the 24th is also super success and that is that guys that is the event but before i forget the Rayleigh shop has been updated we have got guaranteed socket tomes in here so do buy them if you do need them 500 Rayleigh points each very very cheap for, for guaranteed socket tomes i myself have gone for cooldown bind despair and auto healing we've also got wild sanji in here as well if i can find him so wild sanji is actually a very very useful unit he reduces bind by five turns and for one turn will lock the chain to 2.5 times his sailor ability is also very good he'll start the quest with all meat orbs so your entire team start with all meat orbs he is a powerhouse slasher type i believe so he is a pretty good unit if you don't have him i myself am not going to buy him i think 10,000 really points i'm going to want to save that for ships and other future units but he is a fantastic unit, guys. If you do buy him, you're not losing out on anything, honestly. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do not buy this plus 100 cotton candy. It is a trap. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye from this Asian pineapple chicken bed hair, man. Bye-bye.